Buddy, it's stupid. We're gonna learn how to box. I have never ever been in a fight before. At the end of 30 days, I'm gonna fight somebody for the first time. Right now, Curly's like a little baby. He wanted her to fly. I think a lot of times as like femme people, we don't really use our bodies a lot in aggressive ways. And I'm not speaking for everybody. I've never tapped into that side of being rough with my body and being aggressive with somebody. So it's gonna be really interesting for me. This all started because Gadiel was staying with me uh, when we first became friends. And one of the first conversations we ever had was about how I have this social anxiety about leaving my house sometimes. And I think that it's something that's shared with a lot of people within the queer community in that we feel like we have to hide, we have to be in the shadows, we have to tone down our queerness. And I think that that is a reality that a lot of us really face. So I told Gadiel, like, you know, I don't feel really comfortable. And he was like, you know what? Like, when you're with me, like, I got your back. Like, you can be as gay as you want to be. I feel like everybody in this world should feel like they could be themselves when they walk outside and not fear to be attacked. I always thought that that was really cool and I immediately knew like, that's my brother, like we're gonna be friends forever. This is very personal to me because I have a gay sister. And not so long ago, she was walking outside to her place and she was attacked. And the first thing this person said is, if you're gonna act like a man, I'm gonna treat you like one and proceeded to attack her. Until this happened to my sister and having that conversation with Curly, turns out that this happens a lot within the community. People in my life have always been like, don't worry, like I got your back, got your back, but I'm like, when am I as an adult gonna have my own back? This is the purpose of this video. Not only to train Curly to fight to defend himself, to show awareness on what's going on within the LGBT community. I'm training for 30 days straight with Manny Pacquiao's strength trainer, Justin Fortune. I'm the owner of uh, Fortune Boxing Gym. Hollywood, California. How long have you been fighting? Uh, 30 years. I've never fought anybody in my entire life. I'm like the most gentle. I'm like, oh, a ladybug. Like, I'm like the most hippie as they come. So I'm wondering, could I get to the level in 30 days? You really beat the hippie out of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is some A-list Like, I'm about to learn how to fight with the best. When I was 15 years old and I was in high school, I used to be a boxer. One of the things that boxing taught me is, to be confident within myself. I knew that I could protect myself. I was not afraid anywhere I went. And I want to be able to give that gift to Curtis. You want to get to a level when it comes down to it, you know how to defend yourself. Exactly. Like, you, know, you, know, you, you fight and, mm -hmm. and win. We'll teach you everything and I'll teach you some real dirty <laughs> so, That's what I'm here for. I'm here for that dirty <laughs> I'm super anxious about this whole thing because I'm like, I don't want to look dumb. I want to win. Talk about what the month might look like. Just horrible. It's going to be horrible. Just horrible. A lot of throwing up, a lot of crying, a lot of swaying, a lot of abusing me, me abusing you. Yeah, regular stuff. But what do you need from me? Like, what what should I be bringing to the table besides? Nothing. You should just have, you know, just a clean, clean slate. You know what I mean? And we'll just teach you from basics, and then you'll adapt fast. I'm gonna pray really hard, I'm gonna work really hard, I'm gonna light a lot of candles, and I'm gonna have a long conversation with Jesus because I really need to win this fight. After we're done with this video, he's gonna be a monster. I'm not trying to get slapped in the face. Do you see how pretty this face is? It's day one, it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go and train with Curly right now. Super excited, tu sabe. Yo me levante activo hoy. The first week, I have been training every day, except for Wednesdays and Sundays, and it's been kind of intense. I've never used my body in a physical way like that where I have to like punch. And it's interesting because like I kind of liked it. I kind of thought it was like really cool to be able to be like, yeah, I got you, I got this. First day, Curly's learning how to throw a punch, how to hook. Justin has him on the mitts. Justin is like, you could tell that this man is an experienced man. He's been doing it for a very long time. My knuckles were like bleeding, like right off the bat, like immediately. And I was like, we're doing some damage. We're doing some things. All right, so today was day one. It was super amazing. It was super dope. I learned a lot. Um, I'm very sore. I'm very tired. When I walk into the gym, I feel like it's very masculine energy. I'm immediately comforted because of Tamara, who is Justin's wife. She is just like this beautiful, warm energy. Back in 2009, I was hired to fight Kim Kardashian in a celebrity boxing match. And I flew out here, trained with him, and then we fell in love, and ever since then it's been 
Bliss. We describe our gym as like we're one big family, but we're one big, large, dysfunctional family. You know, once you're in here, you're family, but it's tough. You know, you're gonna leave your sweat, crying, tears. It's gonna be full on. It ranged from being nervous about having to be with all men and not only dealing with males, but dealing with males who are there to fight. So I was definitely nervous, but it, what was really cool too is that everybody there kind of just lets you do your thing. Like nobody really is watching you. It has that vibe, that boxing love vibe. I feel like everybody goes over there to train. People are serious over there. Working out with Justin is dope. He is like this huge man with like this heavy accent. Right hook. Same thing, sit down. Bang, and hook there. And you can feel the strength when he barely like taps you. Like this man is strong, but he also wanted me to learn how to breathe. So he would make me run. Like the running part for me was the hardest cause like we would come on Saturdays early in the morning and it was hard. It was hard to keep up. Like, Hello. <laughs> I feel good, yeah? but it's hard. I was like, if he makes me run one more lap, you will see more Modi. He also had me on the punching bag. The punching bag was dope. I never thought that I could punch a punching bag. More serious. That looks a lot easier. Too fast, too fast. Yeah. Softer, softer, softer. <laughs> we did practice on like the speed bag thing, but like I don't care how long I practiced on that thing for, like I could not pick up the rhythm. Sometimes you're good at some things and sometimes you're not. Tamara was like, I got a fight coming up really soon. I think Curly should go and see this. And I'm like, that's that's a great idea. Let's take Curly over there so like that he could see how this rolls and he could see how a real fight is. Yeah, that it, that it. So the fight was interesting and intense. And there I was being like, I don't want to do that. I wanted him to get a feel what a fight night is. It's pretty cool. It was really cool to see people live within their moment of glory. Like, when they did good, they did good. I also want him to see, like, it doesn't matter how a person looks. Some people could look scary and they could look built, but that doesn't matter. Fighting is all about skill. It was so dope to see Tamara fight. It was nice to see that somebody from, like, my gym family basically going in and getting down. The second week, I could see his punches get a little bit more sharper. He knows how to throw the punches. His hooks are really good. His overhand right is the strongest. Sparring. Dun, da, 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 gun, 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 gun. I hate sparring. <laughs> so my first fight was up against this amazing fighter, sweet spirit, sweet soul named Frankie. Curly's like really nice. I'm like, oh my God. But I'm like, yo, you're training for a fight. And I want him to be more aggressive. Got this, Curly. Have you ever seen The Incredibles? Not to compare him to Elastigirl, but like Elastigirl moves like this and like, you're like, hug, hug. that was Frankie. Like I could not land a punch. Like he was too fast and I was like cracking up. And every time I would fight, I would just be cracking up because I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like what am I? <laughs> I did land one punch and I was immediately like, <gasps> like, oh my God, like I'm so sorry. There you go. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. When you spar, they put like this huge helmet on you. I can't breathe in this helmet. I can't see in this helmet. I can't see it. I have my glasses off. You have to remember too, like I'm super blind without my glasses. And if you're claustrophobic, this thing is not for you. Like you will not like this. Him and I go and spar with each other, but it's like, I also don't have it in me to really Go hard on Kurt. It got especially hard when I had to fight my brother, Gadiel. So we go in, bell rings, we're in there. Gadiel is a ex-trained fighter. He was in the military. He knows how to handle himself. Your eye on, where you go? Where you go? Knock down that headgear, baby. Knock down that headgear. <laughs> I never seen Curly in that light. You know, I got a lot of love for Curly. Curly always had my back. So I got this brotherly love for Curly that is like, I never see myself throwing a punch at him. He lands a punch that sends my head back. Like a little like <laughs> And when I come back up, he's laughing. And if you know Gadiel's laugh, you know his laugh is loud as f Okay, I'm good, bro. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I laugh, but in my head, I was also thinking, it's Curly. I can't believe I just did that to Curly. <laughs> and I'm on this motherfucker laughing at me right now. So then I'm like, this. So I get mad and I start swinging and we start going at it. Where you go? 
Get it. There you go. The spar was over. It was interesting. When I took off my helmet, I hear Tamara say, Gadiel's bleeding. Curly, you made Gadiel bleed. Curly! You gave him a bloody nose. No, 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 bro. For real? <laughs> it was a mixture of it being like, oh shit, like I didn't even, I didn't even know I could punch like that. And then it being like, I didn't need, I want to learn that on someone who I like love as my family. That's my first bloody nose. I know. Boy. I never got a bloody nose in my life. I don't want to get emotional again, but I think that punch really opened up a lot of different doors in my mind that I didn't no, we're still there. Every time I hit you, yeah. I feel like pure shit inside. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it. Like it's it's weird. It is a weird feeling. Like I'm doing it because I have to defend myself, you know? Mm. And I have to learn how to do it, but it sucks. What about it that sucks? I don't want to fight, it's stupid. We're in the car and then Curly gets emotional and he starts crying. In a way, I also understood because it's like you gotta hit somebody you care about. Having to hurt somebody that I'm really connected to hurt. It's a weird place that to like tap into as a human being, like yeah. where you're just like, it was you know, all day long you're like, oh, I gotta go to work, I gotta feed my dog, I gotta do this, I gotta pay my bills. And then like those two hours where you're like, I gotta get aggressive and yeah. you gotta reach into a place in you and you're like, Oh, I'm not gonna f lose. Like, I'm not gonna do this, and it's just ugly, you know? It is, it is pretty ugly. I've been very open about growing up like in an abusive household. Things got better for me, but it was like a thing that I had forgotten had affected me so deeply, and I didn't realize that it was still a huge part of me. Which I never thought, I didn't think I was gonna feel like that. I thought I was gonna be like, yeah, I thought, we done this before, I thought I not. That was also like somebody I care about, like, damn, it was curly. Training continued. I kept going, um, I was still working out. Tamara hits me up, she was like, I found somebody, he's perfect. I basically wanted to fight somebody who was A, had never trained before, and B, had never been in a fight before, because I wanted it to be a little bit more even. He's like almost the same height as Curly. He's never fought before, and he, we could start training him. But he's also a marathon runner. Like an athlete, like I'm out here, I just stopped being a potato a year ago. I was worried, I was like, nah, nah, there's no way, I don't think this is a good idea. All the talk was about him being like a marathon runner, you know. He's a marathon runner. You know he's really buff. You know he's really beautiful. And I'm like, but what? I don't. What about me? I'm like, Curly, you need to meet Alex. I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, this is the time that you need to be aggressive, son. This is Alex. Get back. Alex Don't is start. Curly. <laughs> nice this is. I found you on Instagram, but now I, I see you in real life. Yeah. Don't think people. Hi, how you doing? Curly sees him. He's like, hey, right, you want to get tea? I'm super nervous. I'm super like. I'm excited. But nervous is good. I expect the more like a combative stuff, but you guys like, wear right away. Hey, how you guys doing? Gadiel was like, what What are you doing? Like, you need to be like harder with him because when I met Alex, all I wanted to do was be like, oh, what's up? Like, how are you? Like, so you're, you're ready for this fight? Yeah. You ready? Okay. It'll be good. It'll be good. Right. I love how we have the same energy. We're like, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> we're, dressed, we're gonna dress the same too. <laughs> we hit it off right away. Gadiel is like, don't be his friend. Like, what are you doing? Stop being curly for a second and just be a fighter. You no, 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 you guys can't be too friendly. <laughs> <laughs> From there on out, like whenever I saw videos of him training or him fighting, or I would watch him fight while I was jogging, I kind of just felt like, oh, I could take this guy. Like, I could take him. So Curdy had to travel. Uh, he went down to Mexico for a couple of days, so he missed some days of training. And he also had to go to Florida. When I got back, Justin was training Pacquiao, so he had to leave. So I trained with Mark, Justin's BFF, and then the amazing Kenneth Hunt. I know he's like pretty busy, so we've been trying to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, but you know, we've been doing the best that we could. And I just came back from Mexico, and uh, the flow was good. Um, it's punch for flowing. I think we'll be ready. When he came back, we're like, you know what? We gotta kick this into high gear because the fight is around the corner. I saw a shift in Curly. At first, he was too like nice and and playing around and smiling and joking around a lot. So he will apologize for anything. Oh shit, No, there will be, no. Never say start a rap for okay? okay? Never say start Stop apologizing, bro. But I saw a change in him to be a little bit more aggressive. That's right. Everybody was like, you have this fight coming up. You are sparring for several days leading up to this fight. I went up against three girls. I was super, 
intimidated. And then on the flip, there's the whole thing of like the way that men are taught, or at least the way that we should be taught not to hit women or get violent with women. It's ingrained in us. But I'm like, listen, Curly, don't feel bad because either way, when I used to fight, I used to spar with women too. So I was like, I don't want to hit a girl, but also like, I'm scared of you. <laughs> I went up against Tamara. She is trained, she knows how to fight. She teaches other people how to fight. Especially Tamara, Tamara is a tough one. She's aggressive, she's tough. I can see that the first punch landed and it was a hard punch. I saw her waddle and I was like, whoa. He stumbles her, but he feels bad. Again, it's a mixture of like, I didn't know that I could do that. But then also like, no, it's definitely like the two sides of me battling it out. And I also went up against other girls. They've been training for a long time. It was interesting to see women put themselves in harm's way in order to teach me how to be stronger. After that spar, we went outside and I saw Curly crying again. How do you feel, bro? Honestly, yeah. like I have like a lot of mixed emotions. Again. Hey, why? I just like, it's it's kind of like, um, like triggering. It's like a lot of different things that I'm like, like, I know that these girls are like trying to help me be a better person, and I'm like, oh man, I have to hurt you to do it. But I yeah. started crying when I did it, when I fought with you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't feel bad for nobody. Because when you're out there in the street, nobody's gonna feel bad for you. They're, gonna, they're not gonna think twice in hurting you or even taking your life out there. Yeah. And we see that. And we see that. So then Justin came back to take over. <laughs> It's hard to be like, oh, we're gonna train you, but you're gonna fight within 30 days because there's a lot of things that you need to learn. We're getting down to the end. I feel like I've learned a lot, but I'm also like still not used to like fighting. I'll go in and I do it and I'm like, that was dope. That was so cool. Like I could use my body like that. That's so cool. And then I wake up the next morning to come back and I'm like, ah! So before the fight, I could see Curly being different at work. Leading up to the fight, I had crazy anxiety. Like I couldn't work, I couldn't think straight. Crazy, crazy anxiety. Gadiel says it's excitement. It's, and this is also a crucial, pivotal moment for you in your self-development, your growth. Cardi, what are you doing? Getting out of energy, the anxiety? Oh. He would run around the office and he was just like trying to just like get that energy out. Like he didn't know what to do or how to feel and stuff like that. I just wanted to make him feel better. If anything happens, I'll walk in there and whip his ass too. <laughs> What's our chant? Curly, 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 curly. Oh my God. It's the night before the fight. It's really like the day that we've all been waiting for. Everybody who's trained me, I got contacts <laughs> so I can see. You're not supposed to wear them, by the way, when you fight. I'm kind of sad like that I'm gonna go in and I have to fight somebody. By this time tomorrow, we'll already have a winner. Hopefully it's me. I hope it's me. I actually asked to take the day off, the day of the fight, because I just wanted to reflect. And I literally just sat here at my house. I laid on my couch and I just reflected a lot and just thought a lot and prayed a lot. It is now officially an hour and a half away to our fight. I just gave myself a little pep talk in the mirror and I think that I never in a million years imagined that I would be here. I gotta kick his ass. <laughs> and I don't feel happy saying that. I'm just trying to amp myself up. Before the fight, I wanted to surprise Curly. I'm gonna do something special for him, you know? And I want him to walk into that ring, I want him to be proud. Curly, I got you a little gift. Oh, shit. All right. Oh. Do you guys know what it is? We're gonna fight today, you're gonna look like a boxer in there. What? Right? Uh huh. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I got those boxing trunks. I took them to an embroidery. Then I had them stitch a Salvadorian flag in the front and I put the curly show in the back, which was cool, man. Like, I just want him to be happy and proud. Like, that's me. Like, regardless of anything, like anything, 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 whether I win or whether I lose, like, we did it. I trained so hard. I did give it my all. I gave it my absolute all. He geared up. He had a weight in the locker room. I was making sure, like, everything is ready, set, go. There's a point where the audience is cheering. I think Gadiel asked, who's here to see Curly? And the crowd is loud and I cringe. I cringe.
cringe so hard because I want to make sure that Alex knows that he has support too. And then they ask, well, who's here to see Alex? People screamed and I was like, yes, I'm so happy that people are here for him. Like, I'm so happy that people are here to see him. I walk into the room and he goes like, how's Alex doing? And I'm like, don't worry about Alex right now. Like, you're gonna fight this guy right now. I was sitting down trying to talk to him that you need to have this fighter instinct. You need to have this animal instinct right now. Right now, when you get in the ring, y'all yeah, are not cool, bro. Yeah, but I just wanna make sure he's okay. <laughs> was there warming up in the locker room? They introduced the fighters. <laughs> They do this thing when people are about to fight, they make you boop gloves with the opponent. And I look him dead in the eye. In my head, I'm like, oh, hey, like, I'm so excited to see him. Like, let's do this. Alex's face was like, that's it, he was game on. And I'm like, oh shit. Curly was not game on. It started. Once that bell rang, that guy was on it. Like, he was on a mission. He was a like, boom, boom, like 30 seconds in. I think he landed a couple of punches and I saw Curly's head fly back. And I remember thinking, damn, really hurt. <laughs> like, just like in slow mo, like, that shit hurt. And I'm in the corner, I'm also thinking, I'm like, man, there's a lot of people from Busby that are not used to seeing something like this. I started to at one point black out a little bit. He knocked my contact out. So there I was blind. What I could see was the crowd going from like, woo, to like, Oh. And I'm thinking like, you should have more faith in me. In your first fight, you're not thinking about technique. Even the other guy, both of them were just going like this. None of them bobbed and weaved, none of them blocked. The referee like pulls me and he's like, are you okay? Breathe, breathe. And I'm like, I am breathing. The second round came in and that's when Curly started landing more of his right hooks. I saw Curly's natural like animal instinct start coming out. Let's go! but I don't give up. I've never quit anything, I never give up, so I keep going. He is ruthless. He is a good fighter. You know, Alex, I don't know where it got him. Got him a couple of times, and after that, Curly couldn't see anymore. I'm blacking out again. I'm like, I can't see anything. I didn't have time to catch my breath, let alone open my eyes, let alone be able to see, and I'm falling against the ropes again. But I also still did not want to give up. So I kept coming back up, and the referee kept being like, are you good? Are you okay? And I'm like, I got this, I got this. And so we keep going. At one point I tried doing the trick where I hug him so that he'd stop. He pushed me off, I think, and he kept going. And I was like, this is intense. And so the ref grabs me and he's like, you're done. And I was like, okay, I'm done. Like, I, I can't do this. And it was a moment of defeat. And it was a moment of feeling like all of that for this moment to lose. And the winner of the fight tonight from Detroit. It's a mixture of emotions, you know, but one thing that I could say is, God damn, Curly got heart. He's getting punched by a grown ass man, but he never hit the mat. This was Curly's first fight, and to be honest with you, I'm proud of him. I was in a state of shock. My body was in shock. I was in shock. So I go, I'm like, I just need a moment to collect myself. I just need to figure out what happened. And as I'm sitting down, I'm like nauseated. I'm extremely dizzy. I can't focus. And I'm like, I'm about to throw up. 
and I literally start to throw up all over myself. This is not where we thought this video was gonna go. But we're like, are you okay? What can I do? And I could not stop throwing up. You probably got a minor concussion. You think so? If you were throwing up. Yeah. You probably not have to go to urgent here. Yeah, they thought I had a concussion and they were like, you need to go to the doctor. You have to go to the ER and make sure you don't have a concussion. And so we went. I've never been to the ER before. I don't think we need to go. I think I'm fine. I think I was just panicking. I'm already also on home. That was, <laughs> that was crazy. I got my ass handed to me. My body hurts, but I don't feel like he didn't deserve his victory. And I don't feel like I didn't try. It was good. I knew that something had changed. I knew that after that fight, I was a different person. It also changed me spiritually. It's okay if you are a fighter. It's okay if you're not a fighter. It's okay if you have other ways of surviving. I used comedy. I used um, allies to survive as a queer person for so long. He could walk around with his head high because he did something that most men today do not have the balls to do. Sometimes you win and sometimes you don't and it doesn't make you less than, it doesn't make me weak. They both had a great fight. They both trained hard. Yeah, one man was better than the other. He took an L, but guess what? That's life. We take L's. Now, will I be going back? Probably not. <laughs> I do feel a lot more confident. I do feel like if I need to defend myself, I can do this. I recognize that I'm capable of doing a lot of things that I never knew that I would be capable of. We did this fight for a good cause. Alex also did it for a good cause. I'm proud of both of them. He walked into that ring, he walked in there with his head up high, and he fall. You're supposed to get scared. You're supposed to be afraid to do things. You're supposed to fail, and you're supposed to get up and do it again, or do better. Be the best version of yourself. 